Hi, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids. We're going to have a look today at visual math word problems for grades 1 and 2. As you can see, neatly set up on the home page are seven different sections, so let's have a look at each of them in turn and see what's in them. We're going to start with number one, simple addition, basics. But let's start at the beginning. There are six lambs in a field and three lambs in another. How many lambs are there in total? Remember to write down your answer with a little smiley face. So I need to write 9 and then tap 9 to actually register it. Correct. There are 9 lambs in total. Tap the circle above to continue. I like the way these are all read out. It's going to really help the non-readers. Sam has 5 red apples. Alice has 4 green apples. How many apples do they have all together? Nine. Tap nine. Correct. There are a total of nine apples. Tap the circle above to continue. We've had a look at the first one. Let's go and have a look at number two, simple addition and number sentence. And click begin. Jenny gave her teacher six flowers and Mary gave her eight. How many flowers did the teacher receive? Now if I had no idea how to go about this, I could tap the incorrect answer. And it will spell Let's it out. Let's solve this. We know that Jenny gave her teacher six flowers. So, we write the number six here. Next, Mary gave her teacher eight flowers. So, we write the number eight here. To find the total number of flowers Jenny and Mary gave, we add these two numbers. Do we use the plus, minus, or multiply sign? Let us add these numbers. What does 6 plus 8 equal to? Ah, oh, so clear. Let's pick the correct answer. Now, we write the number 14 here. Great! Jenny and Mary gave 14 flowers in total. Tap the circle above to continue. There are 4 flags on one building and 5 flags on another. How many flags are there on the two buildings? So, four flags on one, five on the other. We need to add them together to get our answer of nine. Tap nine. Good. There are nine flags on the two buildings. Tap the circle above to continue. We've had a look at that. Let's go back. Actually, have we had a look? Over here is a replay button. So this is handy if you are a teacher who's using this with a student and you're not standing nearby. You can have a look at what they did on the screen while they were working out the problem. So let's tap it and have a look. There are four flags on one building and five flags on another. How many flags are there on the two buildings? All right, let's have a look in number three, change unknown basics. Begin. There are three cows in a field. Some cows wandered in. Now, there are five cows in the field. How many cows wandered in? So we're just writing the answer and tapping the correct answer. Good. There are two cows left. These are the two cows that wandered into the field. Tap the circle above to continue. Now we'll go back and we'll have a look at section four, change unknown number sentence. Adam has six pairs. How many more pairs will he need? To have 12 pairs all together. Okay, let's pick the wrong one and have a look. No, first, Adam has six pairs. So, this part shows the number of pairs that he need to have 12 pairs. Now, what is the number sentence for number of pairs Adam need? What happens if I pick the wrong one still? No, since Adam needs 12 pairs all together, we minus 12 with 6. So, we have 12 minus 6. Next, we write the number sentence here. Now, what is 12 minus 6 equal to? Alright, we write the number 6 here to complete the number sentence. Great! Adam needs 6 more pairs. Tap the circle above to continue. That's really well spelt out. There were four kids in the class. Then some kids came in. Now, there are 11 kids in the class. 
How many more kids came into the class just now? So write down the number sentence that we discovered from before, minus four that we know, and the answer is seven. Good. Seven kids came into the class. Tap the circle above to continue. Let's go back and have a look at the next section. Section five, start unknown basics. Some rabbits were on the grass. Three more rabbits off there. Now, there are five rabbits. How many rabbits were there before? No, write the correct answer. It's just an answer here. Good. There were two rabbits on the grass before. Tap the circle above to continue. Billy had some candies. He was given three more candies. Now, Billy has six candies. How many candies did Billy had at first? Three. Excellent! Billy had three candies at first. Tap the circle above to continue. No, we'll go back and have a look at the next section. Section number six, start unknown number sentences. Some seals were playing. Then, five seals joined in. Now, there are eight seals playing. How many seals were playing at first? Let's pick the incorrect answer. No, at first, there were some seals playing. After five seals joined in, there are eight seals playing. Now, since we need to calculate the number of seals that were playing at first, what is its number sentence? Next, we write the number sentence here. So, what is 8 minus 5 equal to? Alright, we write the number 3 here to complete the number sentence. Good! There were three seals playing at first. Tap the circle above to continue. Kitty ate some fish in the morning. It ate four more fish in the evening. In all, Kitty ate six fish. How many fish did Kitty eat in the morning? So, six minus four equals two. And tap the two. Great! Kitty ate two fish in the morning. Tap the circle above to continue. Now let's go back and have a look at the last one. Number seven, quiz, practice, practice, and practice. Oh, you can even create a new quiz under here. Let's click start and have a look at the current quiz set. Okay, so in the quiz, the text isn't actually read out. So if your child is not a reader, he or she is going to need somebody next to them to read the question out for them. Oh, and we've got some added little cars here because we can use them to make the picture story down in the blank space. So Marco had some toy cars, then his sister gave him three toy cars, one, two, three, and now he has 21 toy cars. Now we've got some that are in groups of five, so we're going to put one, two, three, four, and a single one. How many toy cars did she have at first? So then we need to pick a pen again and write 21 minus three, equals 18 and pick the 18. Correct. Tap the circle above to continue. So the quiz is a bit of a different format. A lot of working out needed to be done and it doesn't read it out verbally for the user. So as you can see, visual math word problems for grades one and two is a strong app geared towards teaching basic addition and subtraction word problems. It's got lots of supportive and interactive features to encourage children to think through the problems. It spells it out really nicely. It is rather like an animated worksheet, so it's probably not very interesting for children to pick up and play with on their own, but as a teaching aid and a reinforcing tool, it can be quite valuable in the classroom.